Hey, what's up guys i'm back with another dying light video and in this video i'm going to be showing you a glitch that will allow you to get unlimited zagnel the new content drop 8 weapon so this glitch was actually found by one of my subscribers his name is crsn he made a video showing how he easily got the new content drop 8 weapon with no efforts at all so it's a glitch so yeah it's not a legit waste but it's still an awesome way so that's what i'm going to show you in this video Plus, I want to give a shout out to CRS Send for actually sending me this video. So, I will have a link for his channel in the description plus his video. So, make sure you give him a visit because it's going to help out his channel. So, now let's get started with the glitch. So, first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to pick up the bounty called the Fal Jeep from the bounty board. Once you pick that bounty, you will come here and this place, Haran Prison. And as you can see in my inventory, I have a boomerang blade, a heavy tribal axe and a valentine crossbow which i'm not going to use so i really don't have my uh zagnel weapon yet so i'm going to show you how i get it really easily so you need grappling hook for this so follow me what i'm going to do here once you start the bounty you're going to head in go straight now we are going to go outside the map so follow me keep keep keep, keep. let's go let's go let's go so once you reach here above these ladders you're going to move towards the left which is this side and then you're going to climb this and you're going to grapple towards that side and let yourself go there once you're at the corner you're going to try to do a tic tac you're going to push yourself backwards and you should land on top of this fence here and once you do you keep going forward till you can grapple here once you grapple it should pull you in if it's pushing you outside you're going to you want to move more forward and you can grapple again and it should pull you down there you go once you're in I'm going to use my night in a booster again. You're going to move towards this side. You can also grow from this side, but we're going to grapple because we have a grappling hook. So, you know, you, just, you can just go about this. So once you're here at this side, you're going to move forward and make sure you do not mess it up because I have myself messed it so many times. So you don't want to mess it because in case you grapple somewhere else, you will be inside the map and you can no longer do this glitch. So let's go up and we can grapple on the top. The highest that you see here like just follow what I'm doing once I grapple here I have to grapple one more time over here and remember some of the places you can really get stuck so watch out and if you do mess it then you have to kill yourself or you can just restart the whole uh, challenge again so now uh, that's gonna we're gonna jump down over there that you see right there we can grapple again and hopefully we don't die all right this is easy it's done now you can see we have to just move towards that location and we are done the bounty will be over as soon as we grapple in that place it's really easy you're just skipping the whole prison heist you don't have to complete it but it's a glitch so i won't really recommend this for everybody but in case you're having issues completing the prison heist well this is the best way you can get the zagna weapon you see i just completed the bounty alone myself in two minutes because i was explaining but if you want to do it faster you can do it in one minute because the crs send did it in like one minute something and he was showing it so i was teaching you guys that's why it took me some time but it should be really quick for you now you see this is the weapon we got the damage all changes so we're gonna see what's the max damage here let's quickly check the clickers you can't put a blueprint so it sucks 2600 is a what usually what people get in this weapon but once this thing starts glowing it does twice the damage so it's, it's kind of cool but hey i i can say only this this is better boomerang blade with 5376 is what you're going to be getting once this weapon here does twice the damage so in case i'm using this and i swing it on a zombie uh, this thing starts glowing and I'm going to hit my second shot that's going to do twice the damage so it's going to do 5200 uh, something so it's exactly similar to my boomerang blade which it actually does 5300 more than what I'm going to get on Zagnel so kind of useless here I wish it could do 5000 something damage so yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this video helpful and again thanks to CRSN for sending me the video I'll have a link again as I mentioned before give him a visit it helps his channel and yeah guys if you have a glitch you want to share with me make sure you do send me on discord or a private message or just send me on comment section just tell me that you have a glitch for me something that's not been shared in the community before make sure it's a new because 
old ones, you know, you don't want to make it again because then people, people are gonna get pissed. Like you don't give me credits and all. So, yeah. <laughs> if it's a new and you found it, I'll definitely credit it, credit you without any issues. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, found this video helpful. This was an awesome video. I was planning to make this yesterday, but for some reason I couldn't. And now I am playing Dying Light after ages, this feels like, seriously. Like, I, I forgot the controls. I was playing PUBG a lot. PUBG and Fortnite so much that I really forgot the controls of Dying Light. Holy shit, I should stop playing those games. <laughs> seriously, so I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna be making more videos on this content drop 8 weapon talking about more of the abilities and everything so stay tuned for that make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out and yeah notification bell is important guys you will get notified if i upload a video so yeah guys see ya